Welcome back, guys, for more Depraved and more Slippery Beaver. Oh, yeah. Now, how's Slippery Beaver doing? Well, at the moment, Slippery Beaver seems to be pretty satisfied. We've got uh, meat, we've got water, we've got firewood, and we've got clothing. Hooray. Now, let's have a look at kind of the next phase. Oh, by the way, I did put an extra an extra stone mason in, and uh, I've got to set their workup area over there. Now... Just need to make sure there's no uh, nasty wild animals over here. That's a good point, because I didn't look. And uh, it looks alright. All looks like, like wild boars, which friendly, and maybe the odd deer wandering around. But other than that, yep, looks good. Alright, cool. Oh, man, what are we going to do next? Well, boy, boy, we need some money. I mean, I, I say that. We're actually doing fabulous, and uh, and we've kind of used the money to uh, to best effect and we've got uh, we've got shacks new shacks going in let's see what do you need you need some stone you've got your metal parts you need some stone you need some stone but of course now we're producing some stone so hopefully that's an all gonna go very well now one thing we should talk about is carriers now let's go and have a look for example our lumberjack over here and He's, um, he's not quite maxed out, but actually a few seconds ago he was maxed out. And uh, oh, and there you go, look, local storage full. Now, in order to improve um, production, because uh, once you get local storage full, they stop producing, right, until until this gets emptied. Now, the labourers, the labourers just do whatever, right? And how many labourers have we got? At the moment, we've got 16, uh, and we could definitely do with more than that. Uh, but you can get them to prioritise buildings. So, for example, with this lumberjack, we could say, "I want somebody." So I'll have I'll have one character carry, carrier who is dedicated to satisfying this building first. They don't exclusively work on this building. Basically, if there's anything to do at this building, they'll do it. But if there's nothing to do at this building, they will go and do other things. Okay. So I think we'll um, we'll maybe have a dedicated carrier for this uh, i mean to be honest it'd be nice to have more than one but with when you've only got 16 laborers yeah it's a little bit of a problem um yeah see this this is full the sawmill's full and it's just because we don't have enough laborers really so yeah it kind of is what it is let's uh let's have a look you've got four or five logs it, it almost might be better to prioritize the um the sawmill but then you end up prioritizing everything and then if you prioritize everything nothing's prioritized so it kind of kind of it's what it is really right what are we going to do well the main thing is to uh, to like get more get more people coming in so let's see oh you've got two of three stone you've got none you've got none let's uh, let's make sure these get done in a in a nice order so let's do that one then we'll do that one and then we'll do that one all right there was much rejoicing Tell you what, our, our town is starting to get quite big, guys. We're up to 51 residents of the town. Woohoo! We've flown along. Look at that. And we've got. Well, I've I've set these up. So this is um, this is wheat, this is corn, and this is. Oh, this should be potatoes. What the hell? Potatoes. Thank you. Wheat, corn, potatoes. Thank you. All right. So now I don't, I don't think they will move stuff out of here into these silos. But any new crops will go into the silos, which is, uh, which is fine. Good, good, good. Right. Let's go check out the bandit camp. Any bandits there? No. Got my little posse set up over here. Oh, we've got a wolf. Let's get the three guys on horseback. Get over here and shoot the wolf. Well, shoot the wolf if he gets any closer. <laughs> the wolf is hiding behind there. You, oh, okay, you know what? Come out here quick. Can you shoot him now? What about what about now? <laughs> they won't shoot the wolf. Go and shoot the wolf. Now they will. Now they will. Hooray! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Good job. All right. 
Get over there. I don't think anybody was injured, thank goodness. A resident of Slippery Beaver is being attacked. All right, so they're all good. Um, I should probably find another labourer. So the thing is, we've got 16 labourers, but I've got, let's see, uh, you're a labourer and you're a gunslinger. You're a labourer, you're a labourer. So I've got three labourers over here. So in actual fact, we've only got, I don't know, however many we've got. And now it's the winter. Now in the winter, let's go and have a look at our crops. Oh, our crops have gone to zero because you don't have crops in the winter. So what we could do is during the winter is fire these people and then they can go and work as laborers during the winter. So there you go. All of you lot, get out, go and do some work. Good, 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 good. So that means we've got a lot more laborers. Uh, let's see who's armed and who's not. What are you? You a uh, laborer, you're a laborer, you're a laborer, you're a laborer. Let's get those two guys and say, come out here and we'll get you, uh, get you armed up. Look, so I tell you what, it's great in the, in the winter, you can actually see the weapons on the ground. Uh, you lot, go shoot this guy, please. Shoot him dead, shoot him dead. Shoot him dead. Yes, good job, well done. I hate it when they surrender. Right, are you guys, where, where are those two guys? Oh, here they come. Here they come. Come on, you pair of slackers. You, come over here, double quick. And I want you to pick up that Winchester. Oh, and you can nick his horse as well. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet. Loving it. Mount, come on, mount up. And then you can join the posse. There you go. Go on, go over there. No, go over there. There we go, eventually. All right, cool. So we're keeping the, we're keeping the bandits under control. That's the main, that's kind of the main thing. Now I could get these, um, these cop pistols as well, but I think we'll leave them there for now. What are we going to do next? We're, we're only down at 1,600 now. We're gaining, I, I said we'd get it up to about 250. And that is, is exactly what's happened. And we've got one more to build. We need three more stone. Oh, there's, oh, look at that poor woman. Poor woman carrying a great big block of stuff. God, she's strong. She's strong. Don't mess with her. It's like, I could, I, I can carry trees. I'm carrying a huge tree on my shoulder. God, these people are strong. Viney. Viney Stricker. Well done, Viney. Oh, uh, so this one, this one's got two of three, and that one needs stone as well. Okay, well, we could probably speed things up a little bit. Now, I do want to get the railway station going, uh, certainly in this episode. Now, we've got a gunslinger on his way to Slippery Beaver. Do I hire another gunslinger? Gunslingers are expensive, is the only thing. They're $25 a piece. But they are pretty darn good, I have to say. Um, go on, go on, I'll hire you. Right, I don't want you over there. I want you to come out here and I want you to be part of the posse. Come out here. Be a posse member. Oh, he hasn't got a house. Well, hopefully you'll get a Oh, he's got a house now, All right? Which means we've just finished building a house. What's your, is, is your name Tarleton Brazil? Oh God, I hope it is. What a brilliant name. Dalton Brazil, that's him. What a great name. Oh God, I wish my I wish I was called Dalton Brazil. Name please? Dalton Brazil. Right. That shack is also going to get built. That's going to be another thing. We're going to be over 300, you know. That's impressive. And that'll um that'll eat into that debt pretty quickly. Now, the other thing that we can do to eat into the debt is get the railway station built. So I, I'm going to let this shack get built first. Well, where is it? Get, let this shack get built first. Uh, they've got all the stuff. I've just got well, so we can we we could get it going now. Uh, I did want to get this warehouse upgraded as well. Low funds. Yes, I know. I know I'm negative, but I won't be negative for much longer. The thing is, I've pretty much expanded as much as um, as much as I want to expand at the moment. God, the place is the place is pretty big. We will, I, I mean, I'll go up to the max expansion, which I think there's, um, I think you can expand two more times. Uh, it's 15,000 for the next one. Then there's a, there's definitely a 20,000. There might be a 25,000, so there might be, there might be three more expansions to come. 
We will see. We will see. We won't get out as far as these gold mines, but uh, we might get. We, uh, we should get this coal mine for certain. May even get that iron mine. You never know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's have a look. What have we got in stock? We've got. Oh, we've got loads of planks in stock. We've got a few logs in stock. We've got some water in stock. We've got lots of firewood in stock. That's good. We've got some clothes in stock. That's good as well. All righty. You know what? I think uh, we haven't got much meat in stock, which kind of surprises me a, a little bit. But I, I think it's time to get the railway station going. We have got quite a few horses to sell. We've got 30 horses. So let's get it done. Go on, build the railway station. <laughs> now let's have a look at the, the need. So we want, uh, we want to get to the point where we can recruit... Um, we can recruit settlers and the way we do that is literally you upgrade these shacks um, Which we can't do at the moment. We have to we have to unlock settlers before we can uh, level these up um, so uh, In order to get settlers you we need uh, we need the, the, the four basic needs and we need coats and We need alcohol now in order to produce coats you need uh, sheep to produce wool and then the wool gets turned into uh, if we go over here uh, to our tailor here's our tailor uh, our tailor it can either produce clothing or he can produce coats but to produce coats needs wool and wool comes from if I go yeah, if I go to the build menu wool comes from uh, let's see production yeah here we go the sheep farm very cool but sheep farm Needs uh, needs to be supplied with uh, uh, with uh, uh, corn to feed the sheep, but depending on where you place it, kind of determines how much you need. Now, if I place it out here on the like, I think this is yeah, this is desert. You can see that this is bad. In fact, that's really bad. Necessary supplementary feeding, ninety percent. So for for every one food that they get from the from the ground, they need an extra nine food that you've got to supply them in the form of corn if we go over here to where it's like forest you can see necessary supplementary feeding is 10 percent in other words for each one food they get from the ground or sorry for every nine food they get from the ground you've got to supply one corn that makes a huge 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 difference so we're probably gonna have to sheep farm i would think probably over here somewhere Right, so it's close to the uh, close to the tailor, and it's also close to the corn for feeding them. Oh, this is all starting to pan out. Very good, very good. Don't get too excited, guy. Yeah, but it's all working out. It never works out for me. Well, you know, you know, don't don't hatch, don't don't, don't count your chickens before they've hatched. That's the phrase I was looking for. I might move this over to here and get rid of these get rid of these trees. I should, probably, I should probably clear this area, but yeah, let's clear this area out. All right, so well, what now? Oh, we've got another one of the one of these areas is used up. Oh, we've used this up. So this is area two. So let's move this back. Let's see where, 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 where. where. Let's uh, let's maybe start working over this area. There we go. All right, good job. Good job, guys. Well done. Okay, the railway station is built. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Uh, before we check that out, I just want to check the bandits quickly. Oh, yeah, it's bandit to kill. Oh, and one of our guys is not happy. So, shoot him. Oh, he surrendered. And I'm blaming him, to be honest. You? Yeah, your mood is getting pretty bad. Let's let you go back to town. Should we gallop you back to town? Uh, let's gallop you back to town. Oh, look at him racing to town as fast as he can. And then he's going to park his horse and go and get stuff. Good man. Good man. You have dropped a Winchester. Good. You grab his Winchester. They were. <laughs> grab his grab his Winchester. Literally. Uh, not literally. Well, yeah, literally. Not figuratively. Uh, so you're now armed. You can't nick his horse yet because he's not dead. But he'll be dead soon. So that'll be fine. He's bleeding out. <laughs> the cruelty of this game is just awesome. Right, let's go. Let's go to the railway station now. 
So, I'm going to slow it down while we're messing around with this. So, at the, um, at the railway station, you can view contracts, which you can fulfill to get cash. Oh, look, we're positive. We've got almost 800. Now, for example, we could fulfill this contract for 19 planks. Now, we've got planks in stock, so all I do is just select that contract and then fulfill it. And you can either fulfill it partially or you can just say, like, don't dump everything into it. Um, okay, so we're, we're at 1,099. This is going to give us 150, so 1,099, boom, and suddenly we're at 1,250. Hooray! And that is how you make money with this. Uh, let's have a look what else we can do. And of course, I get so unlucky. There's no, there's no wood to fulfil and no horses. Man, that sucks. Now, uh, 10 leather. I don't suppose we've, uh, we've got spare leather. I do wish, I really do wish that it told you how much you've got in stock. And I think that is seriously missing from this. Um, it, I think it's insane that it doesn't tell you. So what I have to do is I have to go over here, I have to go into here, and then I can look and see, okay, I've got two leather, so that's no good. Because um, it doesn't tell me up here, like what my, whether I've got leather or whatever. So it, like, if you've got products up here, then it's fine. But any of the products that aren't listed up here, God, it's a pain in the backside. But I'm gonna live with it. Now these, um, these update fairly frequently. Uh, or relatively frequently, you know, I'll say. Oh, now, 13 logs. Now, have I got any logs? See, now I've got to go into here because it doesn't tell me up here how many logs I've got. Then I can look, I've got 21 logs. So yes, I can go into, uh, well, go into here again and I can say, yes, I'll take that contract for logs. I get 200 for that and deliver them, boom, and look. And that's how you make money with the railway station. Oh yeah. Now, we want to um, we want to upgrade this, I think. Now, I've got seven metal parts. Now, we want to make our own metal parts at some point, but if we go into here, that's the weaving mill, that's the gunsmith, that's the goldsmith. Where's the, um, let's have a look, where is it? The gallows. Oh, you can hang people. How cool is that? Uh, the gallows, the bank. Uh, cattle farm, water mill, fisherman. It's not in here, is it? Watchtower, four. No. It's not in there. Where, where? Oh, it's in here. It's it. Look, see, metal parts. It's this one, the toolsmith. In order to have a toolsmith and make your own uh, metal parts, you need to have five settlers. So that's the direction that we are generally heading in. Now let's have a look. How are we doing over here? Yeah, see, now we've got a few extra laborers, and by a few, we've got the, the we've got the nine that we had over there. Remember, we we're, were at 16. We we freed up nine people from here, and then we built these. So how many have we got now? We've got like 28 laborers. And now, everything seems to be, yeah, everything seems to be pretty good. Yeah, we're keeping on top of the logs. We're, uh, we're staying on top. Well, no, no, the planks is full, see? So, I don't know, maybe, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should put a couple of dedicated carriers on there. Because churning out planks is a good thing. I don't know, we've got like 150, so I don't know, we'll see. Let's keep an eye on the contracts, to see if we can get anything good. Now, I could do this, um, this 10 stone, if I wanted to, but I kind of don't really want to. There's 12 stone there. Yeah, this is the thing. It'll always offer you contracts. <laughs> or uh, this is for me. Like, because I'm so staggeringly unlucky. It, it will always offer me contracts for things that I don't want to do. Offer me some contracts for wood stuff and water and things. It will. It will. We'll get there. Let's have a look at the bandit camp. Oh, we've got, an, we've got another bandit camp. Okay, right. Let you lot. Uh, you lot. Shoot him. Shoot him dead, please. Oh, come on, just shoot him. No, that's the blanded tent. I don't want, no, don't, no, 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 no. Shoot him. Oh, straight through the head. That was brilliant. Good job. Get over there. You, Tom, get on that horse. Get on that horse quick. Now there's a rifle. Uh, there's a rifle over there. Uh, oh, somebody's upset. Let's have a look. Who's upset? You're upset. Let's uh, let's gallop you back to town. I think. 
Oh man. Uh, get yourself back there and then I'll release you. Yep, he's off on his way. Good. Right, you can join the posse. Now, that means I've got five guys in the posse. Now, let's go and have a look at this other camp. We've got, oh man, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's not so good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Oh, four, 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 four. that's going to be tough. Right, what we'll do is, I think... Oh, yeah, I think we're going to destroy this camp, and then we'll go and uh, we'll go and farm the other camp. So uh, let's let's start destroying this camp. And they do it by throwing Molotov cocktails, because that's what they did in the old west. <laughs> yeah, right. I think they used torches actually, but Molotov cocktails will do, I suppose. Takes them a little while to do it. There we go. It's on fire now, and there it goes. And then we'll do the next one, and it's just rinse and repeat. Cool. Right, now, the other bandits, if we leave them alone, they will eventually come and, uh, and, and shoot up the town. And that's what I, I guess the game is expecting you to, to do, is just let them come to you. But the problem is, then, they, 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 they'll, they don't give you a warning. It's not like, oh, we're coming to town. It's like... They just come to town sneakily and start shooting people and burning buildings down. And okay, yes, you do get a warning when they start attacking, but it's a bit late then. And uh, they can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. But the thing is, once they're inside your territory, when they drop their guns or whatever, your people will just automatically go and pick them up. So you don't have to do this kind of stupid micromanagement that, that I'm doing. But, I, I mean, I think personally it's, uh, it's kind of worthwhile. Uh, come on. Come on. Take out this bandit tent. Right, one more bandit tent to destroy. Oh, we've got another rifle over there. Oh, oh, quick, quick. Get, find another labourer. Uh, you'll do. Come on, you. Come out and grab this Winchester. Go. Oh, and you're actually going to get it. Hooray. Oh, and now you. Uh, no, not you. Which one? Are, oh. I can't tell which one it is. I've got, to, I've got to move them individually so I can see which one's which. And it's, it's always the last one that you select, isn't it? Right, you. Um, let's gallop you back to town and, and release you. So you get back to town and I'll release you, I suppose. Right, you are going to grab a rifle so you can come over and join the posse. Right, let's get, uh, let's get the posse back to town. And I might get one or two more people who are armed. So let's see. Let's, gra uh, let's just grab you two. Come out here. He's not gonna, oi, you. Oh, because I'm hiding. Oh, hire him. Come out here. Good job. All right, how many is that? I've no idea. I wish it told you how many units you've got selected. It would be very, very useful. Um, have I got anybody? Yeah, I've got a couple of guys there that need horses you go and mount and you you have to do them one at a time because otherwise they'll all try and get on the same horse I've discovered you're gonna go over there you're gonna go and get come on go and get a horse you slacker and then come out here and come over here right now it's a, it is a lot of um, messing around but my god it's um, it's such a good idea to to keep on top of these bandit camps because otherwise they can really, really get out of control. Here they come. Right. Let's slow this down. This is going to be the gunfight of the OK Corral, this is. Right. Come inside their territory. They will complain, probably. Uh, no. No, no. Oh, yeah, there you go. OK, we shot one. Shoot them. Oh, shot another one. Good. Shoot him. Yeah, shot him. And shoot this guy. Come on, shoot this guy. Go, go, go. Yeah, straight through the head. And, the last, well, not the last one. He's the last one. Shoot him. Come on. Come on, you slackers. Yes, good job. And now, shoot the last guy. 
Oh, good job. You slaughtered them. Oh, there's one more. In fact, uh, yeah, there's one more. Oi, shoot this guy. One of our guys is very upset, but it is what it is. And he's got stuck. But they shot. Oh, they shot him. Brilliant. Right, you, as soon as you're upset, I don't know why you're upset. You should be celebrating. You didn't get killed. Right, you gallop yourself back to town and I'll release you. And then, oh, to the victors, the spoils. <laughs> right. Uh, let's step, separate you out a little bit. Right, you, uh, you need to go back and heal up. Uh, you need to go back. Oh, you're going to die. You've got seven health. There's no way you'll get back in time. Let's see, where's the docks? Okay, I'm going to try and get him back, but this is going to be, like, no chance. Right, you are going to run back to there as fast as you possibly can. And let's see, your mate as well. Uh, you, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to release. You should have plenty of time to get back. But you, if you survive this, I'll be amazed. Like, amazed. Okay, he's already had to six. I cut five... Four, nah, nah, there's no way. Three. Oh. Two. One. Now, if I dismount you and tell you, go into the doctors, and he's going to die on the steps. He's got one health, zero, and he dies <laughs> right at the front door. <laughs> A, mur a resident in Slippery Beaver was murdered. He must be buried. The criminal activity rate has risen. If we look at this, this is this is our crime rate. But you can see that our crime rate is absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. Nobody's worried. Right, um, I'll tell you what, you, go and, go and park that horse for me. Thank you very much. It's very good of you. Uh, do I need to unpause you? Yeah, I do. Come here. Unpause you. All right. Let's get back out here. Now, where was that guy who was uh, injured? Okay, so I've just got, like, loads of people out here and got all the weapons. Um, there is one cot line on the ground there, but I've got l loads of Winchesters, loads of horses. You can see, I've, and I've sent some back already. There's there's loads of people here. I think, um, let's grab, I don't know, a few of you. Uh, like, oh, it's just one. Uh, let's do... Two, three. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's too many. Uh, let's take you as well. Right, all of you lot, let's gallop you back to town. So, go up there, and then you can just get on about your business. Cool. And we've still got a nice posse up here of like six people to, uh, to kill any bandits. Now, what I've been doing is um, people who are labourers or, or lumberjacks, because labourers I use for the posse, lumberjacks, um, lumberjacks are out, kind of on the outskirts of town, so they tend to run into trouble before other people. So I like to have them equipped with, uh, with rifles. But anybody else, people like um, uh, farmers or uh, the the doctor or the millers or people like that, uh, they can be equipped with uh, with colts. So. You need to be reassigned. Now, what's this? This is, uh, this is, uh, this is the, oh, this is the hunter. Oh, right. Well, some gamers just walked back in. Let's see. This is uh, two. Let's move you out just a little bit. There we go. And let's see. The lumberjack needs to be reassigned. This is area three. So worker three. Start chopping those down. All right, cool. Uh, I upgraded that one. Let's get this warehouse being built. Go. Right, let's come out to this side of town. And I really want to get the sheep farm going. So, am I going to do it now? Yeah, I'm going to do it now. Why not? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Production. Wool. And we're going to get a sheep farm now. How f uh, I should probably... Oh, I want to judge like how how wide that is. So, if we have the sheep farm kind of about there, that looks good. Uh, that's twenty percent. Uh, I want ah ten percent. 
Ten percent. Boom, you're in. You're done. Hooray! We are going to have sheep in there. Awesome sauce. Right, get that built. How am I doing for metal parts? Need some more metal parts. Uh, how am I doing for cash? Eight thousand. Woohoohoohoo! All right, let's buy some more metal parts. Let's get like, um, what do you think? Like twenty. Twenty? Or should I go crazy? Twenty. Twenty will do. Oh, and boom, I got them straight away. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Let's go and have a look at the railway station and see. Any more contracts? Uh, so let's see. 12 leather, now 55 bread, near 10 stone, near. Uh, 39 logs, that's a possibility. Let's see what we've got. Uh, logs, and now we've got, we've got four. We've got so many planks, it's crazy. Uh, we've got no leather. Loads of firewood. And that, to be honest, is pretty much about it. Except for horses. We have got loads of horses. We've got 40 and we've got a bunch lined up as well. So, please give me a contract for horses. Yes, okay. This is Sod's Law. It always gives me like a massive contract. 62 horses. I haven't got 62 horses. Why couldn't you give me a nice sensible contract for like 10 or 15 or something? The thing is, look at the price. Now, if you work that out, that's, uh, that's over $50 a horse, which is twice the price uh, that we get for just like selling them here. Um, you just get $25 for selling them here, which is nowhere near as good. All right, what else, uh, what else can we do? So we're getting the sheep farm going. That'll produce wool. And then, now I'm probably going to need like, an, uh, am I going to need another tailor? Or... See, I can actually do with like one tailor producing uh, clothing and one tailor producing coats, really. That would be, that would be kind of awesome. But I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll just kind of switch between the two, maybe. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. What's the other thing that we need? The other thing we need is alcohol. Now for alcohol, we need to turn potatoes into alcohol. That's our potato silo, which hasn't got any potatoes in it at the moment, but we've got potatoes in there. And the way you do that is with a distillery. If we go to production, here we go, the distillery. A distillery makes alcohol from potatoes and water. So I'm gonna need water and we're gonna need potatoes. So I think we should put the distillery Let's turn around, it's a big, big old building. I think we should put this over here. So it's close to this water and it's uh, it's not far away from this stuff, i.e. the potatoes. So should we just put you in there? Uh, now, should I? Yeah, I should leave a gap, shouldn't I? Yeah, because this is a street going up here. So I should leave a gap in here, um, like that probably. Oh, good Lord, why have you gone red? Oh, come on. Why have you gone red? Okay, I can put it out there. Oh, and I can put it, oh, I can put it here now. Oh, okay, I can put it there. Well, that's where it's going then. Uh, let's move you forward a touch. Let's put you in there. Right, distillery is in. Now, if we can get the distillery going, we've already got the bakery producing bread, so that's not a problem. We would be able to unlock settlers and that would be awesome. Let's go, let's go and check out. I need to check out the railway station more often, you know. Uh, how are we here for meat? I could do a meat contract, but we don't have that much, really. Uh, we've got cows, sheep, 62 horses. Oh, man. Let's go, uh, let's go check out the bandit camp quickly. How are we doing out here? Oh, we've got a bandit. Oh, don't you move on me. Kill him. Oh, <laughs> I just shot him right in the head. Right, which is uh, which is another horse potentially, and another rifle actually. So I should uh, I should find a nice lab. Oh, labourer, no weapon. Come out here, come on, get yourself out here and get yourself get yourself a horse and a rifle. Our town is pretty well equipped, I have to say. I'm I'm kind of impressed. Uh, now I probably should put in here another couple of another couple of shacks. Um, see, I could put a shack, I kind of want it opposite that, uh, but apparently I can't put that there for some reason, what the hell? Oh, I could put it, I could put it there, alright, if, now, hang on, if I put that there, am I, you know, if I flip this around, uh, that, uh, this way, yeah, I can put that in there. 
Um, so maybe we have Shaq there, and maybe Shaq there. Flip you around, and we'll put another one in there. Cool. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of. I gotta say, I'm very tempted to put another couple in here as well. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's have one there and one. Oh, apparently. What the hell? Is there a gap? Oh, I, I, for some reason I left a gap in between those. Well, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Boom. So, go. So that's going to be another, let's see, what? Uh, we call it about 130. Uh, about, that's about another 200. So that's going to get the money coming in well. But we're going to need that because we're going to have to put in all kinds of other things now. Let's have, uh, let's have a look. Are we now satisfying all the needs? No, we're not. Still not satisfying alcohol and coats. Are we producing... Well, where's the... Here's the distillery. It's getting built. And it's a cool-looking building, the distillery. I like the distillery, like, a lot. Now, getting these building the, the shacks built as well. I tell you what, Main Street is really becoming a street. It's awesome. Well, while we're looking at that, let's go look at the contracts again. Anything good? Come on. Oh, 23 horses. 1,540. Boom. Deliver them. Boom. That. Oh, nice. So if we look at the stables now, we're down to... Okay, that bo that one's empty. That one's got 17 in. Now people will come and get these horses and, and put them in. Oh, there's somebody bringing their horse in right now. Good job. Well done, mister. Uh, let's see what else what else can we do do, 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 do. oh 53 planks well we can definitely do that because we've got millions of planks that's got another 600 let's do those planks what else can we do ba -dum, ba -dum. Uh, another 22 planks boom let's do that boom oh some a building's being attacked i bet you this is an indian attack it is an indian attack oh right uh let's see uh you uh, you've only got a cult. And of course, look, there's there's nobody else around. Uh, well, let's see. I could grab uh, you three and say, come up here. And you, come up here. Uh, I could get the guy out of here as well. Uh, who's in there? Oh, no, apparently I can't get you. Oh, yeah, I can. The miller. He's, well, he's got a gun. Come on, Miller. Uh, come out that way. Go. Shoot the Indian. Shoot him. Shoot him. Yes, we killed the Indian. Hooray. Now, you, you're injured. Oh, and you're not well. Uh, it's going to be the quickest way to get you there. The quickest way to get you there is going to be tell you to mount this horse. Now, everybody else can be released. So, just get about your business. You need to gallop round to the doctors, go. And then I tell you to dismount, you get off your horse, and then I tell you to enter the doctors, go. Go, enter the doctors, as fast as you can. Come on, you've only got 15 health left. Ah, you'll be fine actually. You, go and put your horse away for him, if you wouldn't mind, thanks very much. And then anybody else who's sleeping round here. Now let's see, did he drop anything useful? No, no he didn't. And we nicked his horse. <laughs> That's what Indians are for. You, you kill them and nick their stuff. That's what it's all about. And yeah, you can just lie there and rot. You're an Indian, you don't get buried. Now, I should get people back working on these. So, boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. Let's see, where are we? Uh, we are, we're, we're still in the spring. Month one of year two. So, I didn't miss too much of the growing season. So that's very good. These people are just, just idling around, not doing anything. Now you, I should, uh, oh, now we've got another gunslinger that I could hire. Ooh, that, you know what? With the amount of cash that we're getting, you know what, I'm gonna hire him. I'm gonna hire him and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna attribute you a work area. Um, uh, you know what? Patrol this area, because this is where the, all of our stuff is. We don't want these buildings getting burned down. That warehouse can be upgraded, let's do that. Uh, all right, all right. You, 
let's unslip you. Yeah, you can take that horse away. So we've got 17 in there, six in there. So we've got 23 horses and I think another two going in. So we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Any more contracts that we can do? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Well, 20 logs. Like, I could maybe do 20 logs. I don't know. Let's see. Could we do Could we do 20 logs? Nah, not quite. I'm going to leave. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to leave those. Uh, what we really want is some firewood and planks. Would be the best thing. We've actually got right, a fair amount of clothing. We could do a small clothing contract, but... Um, they're, all they're asking for is coats at the moment, which does not help us. We need to get on and do some uh, some mining as well. Now, this this is a pig. Can you see that's the face of a pig? And these are cattle. We need to get some pigs and cattle going. We will do that next episode. Oh yes, we will. What else can we? Now we do have sheep. We do have sheep. Uh, and we're going to be starting to produce wool very soon. And as we produce, well, let's see if we produce any wool. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, for sure, I have to, to know for sure, I have to look in here. Have we produced any wool? No, we haven't produced any wool yet. But we will. So we'll be getting the coats going. So next episode, oh man, next episode, we'll be able to start getting settlers. Oh, we've got a guy. Yeah, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot the bandit. Oh, there's a rifle over there. Kill him. Oh, and we killed him dead. Good job. Did he bring a horse? No, he did Oh, yes, he did bring a horse. We've got a horse, we've got a rifle, and we've got another rifle. Oh, man. We are so well equipped. Uh, we've got a building that needs... Oh, one of our hunters needs his area adjusting. Uh, oh, look, look, there's loads of deer over here. Yeah, go, go do some hunting over there. You'll be fine. How are we doing? Our fields are growing. Hooray. Good news. Well, that one's not, but it will. It will eventually. Oh, look. look they actually get planted in the ground. I, I've got to say, I'm very, I'm very, very happy with the like animations and stuff in this game. They're really good. Oh, we've got another building that's upset. Now what? Now what? Oh, we run out of stone over here. Yeah, it looks like it. Have we got any more stone around the place? Now we've only got this up here, so I tell you what. Oh no, they're, they're, no, this is oh this is hunting. This is hunting. Uh, I'm pretty sure there'll be some animals around here somewhere. Uh, oh look, there's a bunch of pigs over there. So we'll move into that area. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You know what? We're going to leave it there for this episode. My God, there's so much to do. There's so much to do. I was really hoping. Oh, we haven't quite got this built. We need we need one more plank to get this built. Come on, somebody somebody get this done. I, I really was hoping to get the alcohol and um, what's the other thing? The alcohol. Oh, I can never remember. So look, the alcohol and the coats. I was hoping to get those done and get some settlers, but it'll be the beginning of the next episode. It'll be fine. Uh, did we did we get any wool? Did we get any wool? So look, did we get any wool? No, not quite. So look, we've got four sheep. Are you going to... Oh, I think that's our first bit of wool. I do believe that's our first bit of wool. Is it? Or was it a bucket of water? I don't know. It could have been either. But it's uh, it's all good news. And look, we've got some sheep. That's lovely. All right, guys. <laughs> I'll catch you for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, we've got a new guy coming to town. Hello, mate. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next episode. Peace out.